Hello world. It's yet another beautiful sunny day here in Defiance on uh, Wednesday, June 17th. Um, cool this morning in the 60s, I think, and um, went out for a run. It was a good morning for a run. Um, it's going to be hot today, but humidity is still going to be relatively low, but the, the heat is coming this weekend, so enjoy this weather while you can. I'm reading today out of, again, the uh, Daily Devotional Rise Up, Spirituality for Resistance. Um, just because this one particular um, devotional really struck me this morning. And it's <clears throat> entitled, O oh Lord, How Long? And it's based on a verse out of Psalm 6, which says exactly that. O oh Lord, how long? And it's written by Christina Vila. Christina writes, Everyone has their favorite scripture texts, and this is one of mine, along with How Long, O Lord, from Psalm 13. Besides being easy to memorize, it's good for those times when you think you just can't stand another minute of whatever is going on, but you don't have a choice. You've got to endure whatever it is, what, until whatever it is ends. And you don't know when that will be. So you ask, Oh Lord, how long? Because you trust that God knows how long it will go. And bringing God into the situation reminds you that nothing in life is eternal. Nothing goes on forever. A great blessing God provided with the creation of time. The flip side of grief and loss is the gratitude you feel when some nightmare experience finally comes to an end. Oh Lord, how long? can just be a prayer for patience in places like the airport or the Department of Motor Vehicles. But in Psalm 6, O oh Lord, how long, is a prayer of fear and pain. My soul also is struck with terror while you, O oh Lord, how long? This prayer doesn't ask for, for the boredom, the frustration, the pain, or the fear to end. It just asks, how long? The reassurance comes from knowing that it's not a matter of if, only when. You just have to hang on and repeat the prayer, O oh Lord, how long? And Christina's prayer. O oh Lord, I don't think I can take another second of riding on this bus, waiting for the painkiller to kick in, having this argument, waiting for someone to hire me, lying in this hospital bed, sitting next to this hospital bed, waiting for the results, missing the dead and departed. So I ask you, how long? Come on. <clears throat> well, this devotional today really struck me uh, from a multiple angles, I guess. One is um, the coronavirus. How long are we going to be in virtual worship? Um, how long are we going to, um, before we can get back together and, and see family and friends, how long um, till things go back to normal? And of course, what will normal be? Those are a lot of questions. We're not sure we have the answers. Consistory decided that um, beginning in July, committees and boards will begin meeting because all the committees and boards are pretty much less than 10 people, which is um, what the Ohio Department of Health currently says, um, recommends as being acceptable. Um, but we've decided to hold off on worship. We don't know how long. We want to wait until mid-July and see what really happens with the economy restarting. Um, right now, it, Ohio is kind of staying the same. They went up a little bit, um, but it's around 430 new cases a day. Hospitalizations have increased slightly. Um, but we want to know what the risks are before we really get back. So <clears throat> the other part of this devotional that struck me is how many of my African-American friends 
in the United States, how often they keep asking that same question. How long? How long will it be before these sorts of things don't come up anymore? How long will it be until we are, um, I don't want to say a, a colorblind society, but before we're a society that really, truly sees one another as children of God and really treat one another that way, how long? Well, in both of these cases, some of the answer to that is until we want to really work to make a difference and to do things differently. With the coronavirus, um, I don't think we can, I don't know. I don't know, what I maybe I shouldn't say I don't think we can wait for a, a vaccination, but it could be that there may not be <clears throat> a vaccination that is... Um, effective and safe, uh, it could be a long time before that happens. So what are we going to do? How long will it take? So what are the alternatives? And in terms of um, racism, part of the answer of how long is how willing are we going to be to, uh, to stand up, to say something, to do something? to work to uh, to end it in whatever way we can and to make sure people around us know that it's not acceptable and work for real change. So, how long? Or really, God only knows. I hope you have a good day, and I'll talk to you soon.